Hey everyone, so while I was working on my Pilar, uh, a good buddy of mine got in contact with me. He was telling me how much he liked what I was doing to my own personal knives. And he asked if I can customize one of his daily carries. And I couldn't resist because, well, I just like to customize knives anyway. So he told me he had the CRKT Carson Design M16. Now this, this knife, he said it was about eight years ago since he bought it. So let's take a look at it. Um, it's pretty cool that he sent me one of his knives. And uh, there it is. The Carson Design M16 by CRKT. Now this thing, very, very used which is a good thing, it means he's using his knife. It's got a tip down pocket clip on either side. It's a flipper style knife. And at the moment it's not really flipping out due to the fact that it's dirty. But again, that's that just means it's being used. Uh, thumb assist open, but that's, that's really hard to actually open. So again, once I clean it, It'll be, uh, it'll be functioning properly, hopefully. The scales, I thought they were wood, but it turns out, looking closer, that they're made out of some sort of plastic. Uh, same with the spacer in the back. It's a cheap kind of cheap plastic. Uh, and he told me the knife was slippery. I do like the design of the knife. I actually have one of these, but the 10KS version. And as you can see, it's quite a bit smaller. I guess it's the medium version of it. But again, I, I do like the style of the M16. It's got a lock. Unfortunately, I'm not a fan of locks on knives. I think that's just silly. And I'm not bashing on people who have locks on their knives, but I, I don't really think they're necessary. Got a dagger style blade with some serrations. The logo is pretty faded, but it's still there. If this was my knife, I would definitely have to get used to that lock or that safety lock feature. Now, what I'll be changing these scales to is the brown micarta. I think it'll look really good. Uh, I don't want to stray too far off of what it is right now, so I kind of want to keep it brown. And I will keep the holes in the new scales, but I'll probably just make them just a little bit smaller. I will probably end up doing the sculpted look on the handles just so he can get better grip when he's using the knife since that was a pretty big issue for him. And what I'll be doing with the spacer here, honestly I'm probably going to end up doing copper because I think copper just looks awesome and it'll go well with the brown micarta. I probably won't etch the blade and if I do I, I'll do a really quick etch just so that when I stone wash it it'll be It'll be pretty noticeable. So now that we got a good look at this thing and got some ideas going, now we can uh, start taking this thing apart. I'm gonna use a towel on my work surface here just cause I know it's, it's pretty dirty. And I just wanna kinda keep my work workspace clean. So I'll be using my Oriya Toolkit. And this knife has a, a flat head bit and the T9 and the T6 bits. So let's start taking this thing apart. taken apart kind of see how the safety lock mechanism works and again this is this is just another reason why I'm not a fan of locks on knives they're just extra moving parts and I just think it's unnecessary so more than likely I'm going to be eliminating this system and that way also creating the new scales is going to be a lot easier it's pretty dirty but again, that's that's fine. That only means he used it. Just needs some good old TLC. You can see the backspacer here, just a little cheap plastic piece. But again, I'll just be taking some copper and creating something, something a lot better than this thing. These scales are a 
again, just that cheap plastic. And I'll be imitating these holes. But again, I'm gonna make them just a little bit smaller. All right, now that it's all taken apart, we can uh, get started on customizing the knife.
car now that everything is pretty much customized and all touched up just a quick walkthrough of what I did all the markings came back when I etched it so that's pretty cool so you got the CRKT logo and then the M16 Carson design logo came back as well I was actually pretty surprised that that happened the stone wash came out really good again I use nail polish to where the bushings go just so I don't lose any tolerance and I still get a smooth action I created a new backspacer and of course I had to go copper I integrated the holes from the original design since there's four holes on the scales I decided to put four holes on the backspacer and then I also did the sculpted design on the backspacer as well again I, I just I think it looks really good sparkles like crazy I don't know what it is about polished copper but it looks good as for the handles I did the sculpted look on these as well you can see and the micarta micarta looks really good especially in brown I was considering green but I think brown was the way to go let me know what you guys think of these and then for the holes I went with the old design as you can see the old old nasty scales are right here and I noticed on the old ones that the holes gradually get bigger from bottom to top I did the same thing but I went slightly smaller with the holes too working my way up to the top I also left out the little tiny holes just because I noticed a lot of gunk builds up in these little things so I, I figured it'd just be better to keep them out. Looks a little bit different, but you can still tell it's an M16 with these bigger holes. I think it'll just be a lot easier to keep clean. As for this side of the scale, the old one had the mechanism for the locking system, which I just wasn't a fan of. And if, if I was to keep it, I would have had to have I don't know how I would have done it, but it would have taken my time to create this, all these little pockets so that the locking mechanism would work. But luckily my buddy, I asked him before I actually started the uh, project here, if he was a fan of the lock system. And thank God he wasn't, cause that made my life a lot easier to make these new scales. So with the lock out of the way, it's a lot more simple to use the knife now. Also for the pivot pin, the original one was really disgusting it was a flat head with a blank pivot head and the flat head was the actual flat head screw fortunately I found this one from an old knife that I had just lying around so with this pivot pin you're gonna need two tools to tighten it down because of the old design normally you have on your liner a nice little flat spot where your pivot pin goes but for some reason the original scale is the one that had, as you can see, it had the flat spot right up there to keep the screw from spinning. But like I said, I got rid of it because it was just, it just didn't look right. I just wish the, the liner had the little flat spot, but that's all right because it still works and it still functions. And I think it looks a lot better with the pivot pin because it has the same size T9 bit that goes on all the other hardware. So it kind of it kind of worked out pretty well. So now that I kind of broke down what I did, let's uh, let's put it together. Alright, so here it is all put together. I think it looks pretty mean. Um, it's a little bit darker, which is kind of nice because it gives that copper a chance to pop. 
yeah it looks it looks pretty good I just like the way it hits against the light at different angles just makes it really pop gives it a gives it a really unique flash those four holes definitely go with with the scales as for flipping out as you guys remember from the beginning of the video it just didn't want to flip out but now it just flips out like butter and the the blade is centered so that means means it's where it needs to be and just the right tightness on the pivot allows it to really fly out of there and again I mainly the cleaning of the knife is what helped here I really like the way it came out stone wash looks good the bright hardware looks good against the the dark brown micarta one thing I like about the micarta is a lot grippier than whatever that plastic stuff was on the old scales so my buddy is definitely going to be able to grip this knife a lot better especially with the sculpted texture I put onto the scales. In the beginning of the video I wasn't able to flick it open with my thumb but now it's just flies right open. So I'm just glad it works. So there's the CRKT M16 Carson design. So let me know down below in the comments of what you guys think of the knife. And again, don't forget to subscribe and like. Feel free to share this video as well. Thank you again for watching and stay sharp.